Hey, Canva users, come here real quick. Let me show you something. I just discovered this feature, Dream Lab. I don't know how long it's been here. I know it hasn't been that long because it just appeared today when I was checking in on my Canva. You can create AI images. Here's a few. They have examples up here that you can use. Or if you're good with prompts, you can enter your own prompts right in this section right here where it says create. So let's try one. I'm just typing in. So we're typing in create a realistic photo or photo realistic of a t-shirt model. So that's what it is I'm going for. You can add more details if you want to be female, male, if you want a cat, dog, whatever it is that you want, you can type that in. You could also use the prompt that I've used. If you're good with prompts, do your thing. This is the results that I got. I absolutely love this. Now, you will get different results with this same prompt. You just have to go over here in the left-hand corner, scroll down, and just choose the art style in which you would like. So I'm gonna try fashion and see what comes up with that. So I give it a little, 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 little minute and it should be here now. These are absolutely fabulous. Like I'm so in love with this. And let me tell you, Canva had AI image that you could have done before, but it wasn't all that. <laughs> it wasn't all that, but it seemed like they heard the people. They went ahead and they change things up accordingly and this is the results and i'm absolutely loving it you could do so much with this next step to greatness i swear okay so we're gonna just you know recreate the same one and see what else it is that pops up with it these are the results and i didn't specify um whether female male or anything i just said t-shirt model so in that sense it's gonna create and give you whatever it is that you know, just different options, a variety of different type of um, models. Again, if you want a specific type of model, you have to enter that into your prompt. Here, I changed the style to moody. This is, this is really great. This is nice if you're doing like athletic wear, you know, or the possibilities are endless. It's up to you. We're going to try a few more. I'm going to go in here and show you guys the other options. Feel free to go in and explore. Try different ones. See what you come up with. We're going to see what Vibrant is looking like. At this point, I'm not disappointed in anything I'm going to get because I know it's going to be off the hook. And look at that. The colors really are vibrant. I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to click edit and explore a little bit with that. I apologize. My screen was freezing and I was just clicking on everything, trying to <laughs> see what was happening. So bear with me. I'm going to cut out a bit and, you know, speed it up. So we'll see just now. One second. Okay, so here we go. And Real quickly, this is not a tutorial. I'm just showing you guys what I've discovered and seeing if I could help somebody with something. I don't know, but I was just excited. I seen it, I jumped on, I recorded, I and here we are. So let's get into it. We're gonna just fool around with some different type of fonts. As I said, it's not a tutorial, so it's not planned. So we're just typing anything. I'm gonna go in with bold. I'm just gonna change around the colors a little bit. If you guys do want, you know, a more in-depth tutorial on this, please let me know. If you guys would like me to do some more prompts, let me know. For now, we're just gonna mess around, look for a good font. I'm feeling this one, so let's go with that. I'm gonna change around the outline, the thickness, you know, the angle, all of that good stuff. Just, you know, see what, see what you can do. Okay, so I think I like this thickness. And then we're just doing the angle. So once I get all that sorted, I'm going to mess around with the colors. I was going to do black and pink, but then, you know, the image is very vibrant. It already has a whole lot of, you know, red and blue. So 
put in pink i don't know it just wasn't sitting right with me so i went with white so it could stand out a little bit more now i'm just trying to find like a really good placement for it i'm not really feeling the angle um i think it extruded a little bit too much so i'm gonna adjust that first i have to change the color so i can see <laughs> and then once i sorry once i you know once i'm happy which i think i found it you know you just enter it in and it automatically upgrades um updates the the letter the font so i like that you don't have to do it all over again so once again you can use this you know if you're doing posters if you want to do an ad if you're doing a meme you know the the possibilities are endless do some research you know what i mean jump into your creative space and do your thing what else do we got here oh there's filters um there's effects you could do all kind of stuff here i'm just messing around with the blur you can blur the whole the picture in its whole entirely entirety or you can just brush an area and you can blur that so let's see what it is that we want to do look at that it just you know slightly blurred the background and then you you know increase the intensity you can you know brush over the areas in which it is that you want to just have more of a focus on so the blur is not so intense okay so just gonna play around with that a little bit and then we're gonna scroll down i'm just gonna mess with some of the different type of apps the different type of effects that they have uh, show you guys the different possibilities i'm trying slice right now i never really used this effect but let's see what it do today so there is the offset the count and the position this is what each one does now we're gonna go back in and let's try let's try bad tv and see what the effects for that is so here at this point i'm just you know showing different effects and what it will do in terms of the ai image and the quality is so good you don't even need to upscale this so once i do all of that i am going to go into magic edit i'm gonna attempt to put a tumblr in here one thing i did realize though is the blur because i blurred the background so where i'm putting the tumblr the placement for it which is right here it actually blends into the blur which is you know kind of cool i didn't know that before i do now so if you guys are trying to put something into your image and you want that blur i think the best thing for you to do is to download the image re-upload it and then um to do your magic edit and put whatever it is that you want to put into the image so that way it would stand out and it won't blend into the blur so these are the results that ooh, these are the results that came up and again you don't have to put a tumblr you could put whatever it is that you want in your image and i guess depending on the type of image that it is that you created okay well thank you for watching this is the end of this excitement for today again if there's any other canva tutorials that you guys would like me to show you guys feel free to let me know in the comment section these are the images from the results in which you guys seen at the beginning of the video i absolutely love them anywho Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.